I'm gonna recommend five YouTubers in this video and I'm slightly biased because I'm quite friendly with four of them and I I would hope that they like me because I really really like them <laughs> but uh, the fifth one doesn't actually know who I am but that doesn't matter I just really admire what her, her work and what she does so I'm including her in this list um, and I haven't broken these people down into like small or smaller YouTubers. I actually don't know how many subscribers these people have each, I don't really care. I really hope that you check them out because I think a lot of them, all of them, are underappreciated. So the first person is um, Eileen Nee Clarkey. Eileen is a wonderful, wonderful person. She makes a lot of cover videos um, and she can sing so well and I'm so jealous. But I had the pleasure of meeting Eileen at um, Aaron's Gatherer, which there's a video for, which will be in the description. And she's such a lovely person, she's so sweet, and her eyebrows are bomb, and I'm like low-key a little bit in love with her. <laughs> but I, I really want, I really think she should get more recognition for what she does, because she's so good. She's such a wonderful person. So the second person is someone I've mentioned before on my channel, Enchanted Little Me or Yana. Um, Yana makes a lot of videos about kind of TV shows, movies, uh, books. She does uh, reviews and reactions, and she just makes me laugh. She's quite funny, <laughs> and like I, I would hope she thinks of me as a friend, because I think of her as a friend, and I've mentioned her on YouTube before, nearly a year and a half ago. No, nearly two years ago, because I still had brown hair when I talked about her the first time, and. I don't know, she's just underappreciated and I really wish she got more recognition for what she does because she's she's really good at YouTube. <laughs> the third person is uh, Jo is Bored. Jo is uh, an Irish YouTuber who I still haven't met. He, his content is so nice, it's really beautiful, I think it's, I would call it slightly understated and I don't know, I just like listening to him talk. He's He's so precious and I just want to wrap him up in blankets and watch Disney movies with him. So the fourth person is Kay Maynard and they make a lot of different kinds of videos. They have some covers, they have some uh, kind of day outy vlogs I think and then like some more talky things and then I think they have some, they might have some poetry, I think they have poetry, but I really love Kay. Kay's videos are really nice, they're really sweet, oh, I just, I just really love Kay. <laughs> I want to be better friends with Kay. They're so wonderful. They have this brilliant series that I really love and it's like um, a second every day and it's like it's like my PMS series only like a lot better <laughs> because it's, most videos are only like 30 seconds long because it's a second for every day of the month and I think that's such a beautiful idea because my fucking life is like has to be summed up in 20 or 30 minutes whereas Kay can convey a kind of theme or feeling, at least to me, in 30 seconds. I think that's so beautiful. Oh my god, Kay. <laughs> what you do is brilliant. Oh, I really want Kay to be like my best friend ever. <laughs> so the fourth person and the last person is that person that I mentioned at the start that they are, that she's kind of, I, I don't know her personally. She is Scarf Demon or Chloe and She's an artist, and she is an actress, and she writes, um, but she has this series called Little Moments, which is like my PMS series, and if you if you watched Hazel Hayes' uh, Time of the Month and kind of got that warm, cosy feeling in your chest watching it, that's how I feel about her series, because she always manages to time the music and the moments and the, the topics so well and intricately or at least to me it seems that way, and it always kind of leaves me feeling very fond at the end of it. And she really lives up to the kind of idea of little moments because she's, she's, not, she's not filming the big, huge things, oh my god, everything is, whoa, everything's happening at once. She kind of catches all these understated moments with her friends and when she goes places, and I think it's so beautiful the way she edits it together and it just stuns me that she could do this. She also just finished um, a huge video project called Fan Art July where she posted a video of her drawing something for every weekday of July and, I, and I, I'm, I'm floored. 
I could barely do Viju. I can't imagine doing art every day for a video. That would drive me crazy. <laughs> so I really recommend her and those two series that I mentioned. She, I don't know, there's something about her content just leaves me feeling quite warm. Um, feel free to um, send this video to anyone I have mentioned because I would feel super awkward doing it myself. But like, hey, I mentioned you, but if, if you are a fan of these people and you want to send them the video, then go ahead. Um, I did something similar to this uh, nearly two years ago when I did the small YouTuber tag and I still had brown hair in that video, but I wanted to update it because some of the people that I have mentioned now or know now are like people I, I think do need more recognition in this moment and obviously I've mentioned Yana again because I really like Yana's content and I hope I hope this doesn't seem creepy to if any of you watch this uh, I hope you don't disagree with any of the things I've said but like I love you so much anyway um, thank you all for watching I will hopefully see you tomorrow or not tomorrow we're not doing video anymore hopefully we'll see you next time and goodbye Tomorrow, fucking tomorrow, where am I?